I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Sunday morning, the 24th of September, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Philippians chapter 1, and I'm reading verse 23. Paul says, For I am hard-pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Verse 24, Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. And then we go straight to the second book of Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8. And Paul says, finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. We are sojourners in a foreign world. This world is not our home. Our home is in heaven. And maybe that's why you can't understand why you don't feel comfortable in this world. Because you're not from this world. The Lord Jesus Christ has promised that he's going to take us home to be with him in heaven one of these fine days. But in the meantime, we need to work hard. We need to tell people about eternal life. We need to give them an opportunity to accept him as Lord and Savior. Maybe there's a young man, a young woman who says, you know, I feel so uncomfortable in this world. I feel like that fish that is swimming up against the current all the time. And all the rest of the fish are flowing downstream with the current. Well, I want to tell you something. Gypsy Smith, that old Romany evangelist that used to preach off the back of his painted wagon, said, it takes a dead fish to flow with the current, but it takes a live fish to swim against the current. Today, if you feel that you're swimming against the current, don't be disheartened. There's nothing wrong with that. You and I have got our eyes fixed on heaven. Jesus Christ and heaven is our eternal home. We are just doing the work of the Lord here on earth. And as Paul said, as soon as it's done, I'm going home. Have a wonderful day and keep standing up for Jesus. God bless you and goodbye.